Hello everyone, it's Cassie. Welcome back for another video here on my YouTube channel. Today we are going to be playing with the Kendra's Card Challenge number 15 uh, and we're going to be playing with some Trinity Stamps products because Trinity Stamps is sponsoring, so very exciting. Uh, and this is the Birthday Surprise stamp set. I'm going to pair that up with some Rubber Ducky embellishments. I bring in some other things later on as well, and we'll talk about that when we get to it. But this is the Kendra's Card Challenge, number 15. So the contest dates are July 1st through September 30th. I love these challenges because you just take six six by six paper, like patterned papers, and you can cut those up the way she has them all diagrammed, and you get 15 cards in the end because she also provides all of the sketches. They're fabulous. I love to play along with these, love to challenge myself. I love a good challenge. Uh, and because I didn't have time, we're going to just focus on this one sketch there. Typically, I, I like to do them all. I just completely ran out of time. Um, today's actually my husband's birthday. So we are out of town and we're going to be out of town next week too. So I just have been cramming things in. All right, so let's talk about our cute little image here. This is the brand new stamp set called Birthday. And as you can see, this cute little bear is celebrating. He's got a banner, he's got a hat, and you have some options of what you can put on his little banner. I decided to wait until after I was done coloring just to be safe. I did not want to like muddy up the, the sentiment at all, which can sometimes happen depending on the type of ink that you're using. And so I decided to just wait and I would stamp it afterwards. As you can see, we have decided, or I have decided to color my little bear as a polar bear. You got some options here. You could do a brown bear, black bear, polar bear. You could even just go with funky colors too if you wanted to. Creative license, you do you. But I really wanted a polar bear. I don't know why, I just really did. And I, I love challenging myself with white images or trying to keep things fairly white because you do end up having to leave some of your image uncolored. As you'll see here in the end, there's quite a bit actually that I leave uncolored. And when I am coloring with, in this case, alcohol markers, I tend to go light to dark when I'm trying to do anything with the grays and keep something fairly white. Um, and I did stamp this image out using some blackout ink and I stamped it onto some Express It cardstock. So all are alcohol marker friendly products. I brought in some blacks, decided it was a little too dark and the contrast was a little too much. So I brought in that CG7. I wish that I had left his little ears or had colored his the inside of his ears to be more of a pink, but I, I didn't. Looking back, I wish I had, but you know, here we are. I don't think he looks terrible. They just really, <laughs> they really pop. Um, and so we'll finish up coloring the, the ears, the eyebrows, the nose, all that, and then we'll move on to the banner. And I was inspired by the pattern papers I chose. Now, the pattern papers that I chose are no longer available. They were from My Favorite Things. I'll show you those a little bit later. Um, I'm using what I have. This Another reason why I love these challenges is because it, it does get you to go through your pattern paper. I remember when pattern paper was all the rage and I mean, I just collected and I've gotten rid of quite a few over the years, but I really do love to just use it. It makes me feel accomplished <laughs> when I use it. I know that probably sounds a little bit silly, but once I have used up some paper, especially if I've had it for a while, it just makes me feel so good. I don't know. It's that dopamine kick, I guess. I'll add a little bit of gel, a white gel pen to his nose, and then here I'm going to stamp out the sentiment that says, hooray, it's your day. So this could go for just about any special occasion. So those are the pattern papers that I have. Those came from this My Favorite Things pattern paper pad, which is no longer available, like I said. And then I've cut down all the rest of the pieces that I need following the guidelines for each sketch. Now you'll notice there was a little bit of a scalloped edge at the bottom. I'm going to be a little creative. I'm going to take some creative license. So I've brought in this stamp set called Backyard Pool, and I'm just going to use the die that goes along with it. And I, that die is actually for the top of the picket fence, but I decided to use it for the scallop at the bottom of my paper. And I know it's a little bit funky. It's not a perfect fit, but I think that kind of goes along with the arrows on that one pattern paper that I have. I really love that. And I love the idea that you can just go through what you have and try to see what could work. You might have some decorative scissors. You might actually have some scalloped edged dies, whatever you might have or punch or whatever, uh, and just have fun with it. 
Like I said, I grabbed from this one that was supposed to cut out a picket fence, and <laughs> I like how it turned out. That stuff just tickles me. I don't know. I don't know. When you use something that it wasn't necessarily intended for, and you find another use for it. I love that. So we're gluing everything down, and now we're going to attach this to the panel, that dark blue panel. I drop it. <laughs> And it puts glue all over those edges. And now normally that probably wouldn't bother me, but because this is such a dark cardstock, while that glue will dry clear, it's also going to leave where the glue was a little bit dark. So I just flip the cardstock over. We're not going to waste it. And then we will attach down our panel to the front of that panel. And now we got to think about our bear, where he's going to go. Before I do that, I'll bring in my card base. And that just measured five and a half inches by eight and a half inches and it scored at four and a quarter and then we'll just put some liquid glue all over the back of our panel and attach that to the base and then for our bear we're going to use some adhesive foam strips because I want him to pop up off that page a little bit and then as you can see I've got some little rubber ducky embellishments that we'll use here in a second I decide to bring in that leftover piece because why not and we'll just attach it to the inside of the card was it necessary? No, but I wanted to, so we did. And now we'll just peel off that release paper and stick him down to the top of the card. We'll put our little rubber ducky embellishments inside my tidy tray, and I'm going to be fairly liberal putting those around using my pickup stick and some liquid glue. It really makes that yellow pop a bit more, and I love that. And now that we're done with that, that's actually going to finish off our card for today. So this is a part of a hop. You're going to want to hop around. I've got all the information down below in my description box. So head down there and you can find the link to head to the next one. If you like this video, be sure to hit that like button. Consider subscribing if you haven't already done so. And as always, I'll see you very soon in another video. Bye, everybody.